first foul of the game, number 12, Team Cameron. into this one, still 0-0 zero to zero on the Park Region scoreboard. Foss catching the basketball, attacking baseline. Back out to the top, this is Weirs. Now working the uh, far side is Brumfield. Top of the key to Gold. Gold gets uh, about into that left elbow. Now back to Brumfield, and he's attacking. We got a charge as came down, or excuse me, came uh, Cameron is right there. And did an excellent job as he was waiting for Sam coming down the lane. Sacrificing his body. And Battle Lake can have the basketball here still in a scoreless game in your uh, Park Region scoreboard. As Lebo goes back door, nice pass from Van Earp, and he tries to get it in the corner, but that's kick out of bounds. Off of the Comets. Zero to zero. Battle Lake trying to strike first. As that inbound is going to be batted out of the air and taken away by the Comets. And Foss is going to dribble up against Lebo. Gives way to Gold. Gold on the handle, picks up his dribble. Over to Foss. Foss on the wing. Top of the key to Zwiers. Now deep corner to Gold. Ev Gold, three pointer on the way, short, and boarded by Cameron. Cameron up ahead. This is Mikhailson. Now he zips it in the corner to Amundsen. Back to Van Erp, and Van Erp's going to slow it down and reset the motion offense here for Battle 8. Van Erp working against Foss. Now into the wing. This is Mikhailson working against Gold, near side wing. Down to the corner, still on the near side. This is Amundsen, feeds the post to a cutting Cameron, and Kane is going to be fouled by Brumfield. And that's going to be Sam's second, I believe. And he's got both of Hillcrest fouls. We only have him down for one on the... Uh, scoreboard, but uh, he just picked up that offensive foul, if uh, I saw it right. Anyway, the ball comes in Amundsen, and that's blocked by Zwiers. Up ahead to Gold. Gold crossover dribble behind the back. Now back to Foss. Gold gets it back. Thought about the three. That'll close out out of the zone spot by Lebo. Now to the wing to Fisher, who just checked in the ball game for the Comets. He replaces Brumfield. Now attacking his Gold, and a turnover as Amundsen takes it away from him. Up ahead to Lebo, working the far side on that sideline, gives to Cameron, back to Lebo. He's guarded by Fisher, man-to-man -man defense here still for the Comets. As Lebo on the handle, picks up his dribble, looks at uh, a back cutter, but now back to the perimeter. And number 13, Owen Bueller checked in. He's got the basketball right now for Battle Lake. 15-footer in the corner is no good and boarded by Fox. More like a 17-footer, probably from the near side corner. But uh, nonetheless, no good from Lebo. And the Comets are bringing it the other way. Left side as we see it up here in the press box. And now we're gonna have a foul. I believe that's gonna be on Riley Lebo. And it is. Second team foul on Battle Lake. The first one on Riley. And the inbound's gonna come right by the Battle Lake bench from Quam to Gold. Still zero to zero. We're about four minutes into this one. Not a whole lot of score in action as we're uh, bringing you this uh, Little Eight Conference basketball game between the Comets and the Battlers. Fisher going to get it in the corner off the skip from Gold. Tried to dump it down to Zwiers, and that's knocked away. Last touched by Cameron of Battle Lake. So reset, little line set, pops out to Foss. Foss on the wing, feeds the post. This is Zwiers back to Foss. Now to Fisher, over to Gold, top of the key. Kind of direct traffic, and he'll send it to Foss. Working far side wing, and he's going to get all the way to the hole, and he scores with a nice finger roll in the center of the floor. And the Comets strike first, 2-0. to zero. About four and a half minutes 
before anybody scored here tonight. Amundsen on the wing to Van Erp. Van Erp, that leaves it for Bueller. Bueller's 17-footer is no good. Offensive rebound, kick to Lebo. Lebo, corner three is good. And that Lake has their first lead of the ball game at three to two. Comets up the left side of the floor. Gold directing traffic, working against that zone. Now to Foss, top of the key to Quam. Quam gives it to Zwiers. Zwiers now deep in the corner to Gold, who cut through to get it. Now back to the perimeter to Foss, and Zwiers will reset top of the key. Over to Gold. Gold, little hesitation to get free. Couple dribble and pull up is good. Tough shot for Evan Gold. His first bucket, and the Comets are back on front. Kick to Cameron. Cameron wants the three, and he knocks it down. So two threes for the Battlers. One from Cameron, one from Lebo, and they got the 6-4 lead with 12 and a half to play. Now Quam wants the lead right back for the Comets, but he short ended the three-pointer, and Zwiers is going to track down that offensive rebound deep in the corner. And he sends it to Gold, and Gold's going to reset the zone offense here for the Comets. Fisher on the link. He's the high post area to Quam. Good kick out to Foss. Foss three-pointer. Top of the key is no good. And boarded by Lebo. And the Battlers are getting out and running, and uh, they stepped on the floor on the hit line. That was Lebo trying to uh, feed Bueller, streaking up the floor. And I thought he was out of bounds when he caught that pass. Checking in, number 15, Thomas Himmelsbach. And who else is out there? Number 22, Connor Drake. Seymour joining the comments here on the court, as well as Zeke Erke, and Yu Chin Ha, and James Cho. As Ha going on the attack, all the way to the hole, and he'll score, and Ha is gonna be fouled. And we're all tied up at six. And Ha is gonna try to knock down a free throw and give the Comets the one point lead with 12-13 left before the Minnesota Motor Company halftime report. Haas free throw is in the air and no good on the attempt and Amundsen cleaning up the defensive glass off the missed free throw. Quickly ahead to Van Erp. Van Erp attacking all the way to the hole against Ha and he'll score. Big drive by Brady Van Erp and the junior has his first bucket and we're gonna have a foul our travel and as Battle Lake able to speed up the Comets and uh, force Erky into a travel. Another turnover on the Comets as that uh, was a big emphasis from Coach Garvin here tonight. Wanted to win that turnover battle. But going to lose one in that uh, category here on that possession as the inbound comes to Van Erp. Working against Erky. Crossover dribble right to left. Hand off to Amundsen. Amundsen. Facing the pressure, now he'll kick it to Van Erp. Van Erp, three-pointer, and he'll be fouled, and uh, there's gonna be three shots coming from Brady Van Erp, as Ha got him on the hand. And he'll head to the free throw line. Battle Lake up by two, eight to six. And Brady's gonna try to extend the lead. Got two points early in this one. Free throw is nothing but net for the junior. As he calmly sinks that one down. The second of three, also good. First three th free throws here tonight for Battle Lake. And he's going to try to keep him perfect. Three of three, and Brody Van Erp does. Five points for him, and that's what we have for a lead, 11 of six. With Jack McHaleson checking back into the ball game for Battle Lake. So McHaleson, Van Erp, Amundsen, and they got Drake out there and Himmelsbach as well on the floor for Battle Lake. And they're going to be uh, defending the Comets with Ha out there. Seymour has the basketball working from the wing. Ha top of the key, Cho's in the post. Fisher has the basketball deep corner, and Erky also out there for the Comets. Down the wing to Erky. He feeds the corner. Seymour wants the three. No good on the shot, and boarded by Battle 8. McHaleson on the handle, working against Seymour. Looks like the Comets have switched to a uh, possibly a 2-3 zone. We'll see. And they are in that as we're going to have a travel as McHaleson took a couple of extra steps before he attacked from the wing. So turnover Battle 8. Comets are going to face some three-quarter court pressure from the Battlers. 
With 11 to play here in first half action. Ha on the wing. Over to Fisher now. Now over to Erke. Seymour catches it near side wing. Sweep through back to the top of the key. Now they're going to swing it deep corner to Erke. He lets it fly from three. Short in it, but boarded by Seymour. And he's trying to get a shot off. Now a fadeaway from about five feet is no good. In and out as that uh, ball hung on the lip of the rim. And that'll like cleaning up the glass. Up ahead, this is Van Erf. Needs him on spot. Down to the uh, perimeter, this is Drake. Drake working from the wing. As McHaleson is going to be fouled as he popped up to catch it against that zone. And that's going to go against number 13, Erke, on the push. It's going to be Zeke's first of the ball game, the fourth on the Comets. As Cameron and Lebo are going to check back in the ball game. Ten and a half to play. The inbound going to come from Cameron into Hominson. And off back to Kane. Kane Cameron now deep in the corner. This is Van Erp. Van Erp kicks to Lebo. Lebo unable to get a shot off of the uh, not so clean pass. Now back to the top of the key to McHaleson. McHaleson will feed Cameron. Cameron zips it down to Lebo. And he misses the shot from the short corner area. And the Comets able to keep the Battlers to just one shot on that possession. Now Seymour is going to turn it over as he was trying to feed Cho in the post. And Battle Lake going all the way to the other side. And McHaleson is going to be fouled as Ha got him on the arm. And that's going to send Jack to the free throw line. Just an eighth grader is Jack getting the start tonight. Trying to get a couple points on the board. The uh, first one is good, nothing but net. And he's getting some extended minutes with uh, Dylan Christensen and Drew Johnson, both being out with injury. Second of two is no good, but Battle Lake gonna keep it alive with the offensive rebound. Cameron over to McHaleson. Working against Erke. Comets look like they're still in that 2-3 uh, extended zone. High post area to Amundsen. Feeds the uh, wing area to Cameron. Cameron over to Van Erp. Van Erp sweeping through, getting uh, ahead of that zone. Now to Lebo. Good extra pass in the corner to Amundsen. And Amundsen knocks down the three. And we got a timeout by Coach Gard, and we'll take one as well as Battle Lake jumping out to a nine-point lead, 15-6 with nine and a half left to play. We'll be back with more in 30 seconds. Fergus Falls and Battle Lake. Hillcrest is going to have the basketball. Down nine, 15 to six. Battle Lake with the lead. Gold on the handle. Looking against the uh, extended pressure here. Now they'll drop down into what it looks like a uh, two, three zone here from Battle Lake. And it's going to be Brumfield up top. Over to Foss. Foss on the corner. Now to Quam. Quam the opposite, or the close swing, near side wing to Gold. And he's going to reset. Get the offensive set as he uh, brings it out here to the top of the key. Now Foss's hands with it. Feeds Gold. Gold in the deep corner. Three-pointer is short. And it's going to be Foss tracking down that offensive rebound deep in the paint. Kick back to the perimeter. Brumfield gets free with a couple of dribbles. And he knocks down the 15-footer from the wing. Sam Brumfield's first bucket. But quickly ahead the other side. Battle 8 getting it down to Bueller. And he's going to be fouled, I believe, on the floor. So no free throws, but that is the sixth team foul here on the Comets. So one away already. 
from putting the uh, battlers on the free throw line. Van Herp inbounding, working against Foss, gets it in to Cameron. Tomlinson with it now, extended high post, working against Zwiers. Count is on as he dribble entries it, and we got a three second violation. And that's gonna go against number 13, Owen Bueller. Comet's gonna get it back, trying to uh, cut into that seven point lead. And Battle Lake won the first matchup. A game that uh, had to go into overtime. And uh, outscored the Comets by nine in that uh, extra period. And win by six, 59 to 53. As Foss attacking the baseline, good shovel pass to Zwiers, and Thomas Zwiers is fouled. And the big uh, center post player is going to go to the free throw line for a couple of free throws. That foul is going to be on number 13, Bueller, his first of the ball game. And Thomas Short ends the first one. Now another one coming as Owen's going to check out of the ball game. Replaced by number 22, Connor Drake. As weird as his second one is good. Well, Thomas has one point tonight coming off that free throw and a six point ball game. Adelaide doing a great job getting that ball up the floor quickly. Amundsen over to Drake, feeds Lebo. Three pointer is no good long, but boarded inside by Amundsen and he scores and he'll be fouled. Great job by Brennan Amundsen cleaning up the glass on the offensive side, able to get the put back to go. Finishes with contact and he'll have the shot to convert the three point play. Eight point lead if he knocks this one down, it'll be a nine point lead and he does. Six points for Brennan. And he's gonna get a breather. He's number 15, Thomas Himmelspot. Check back into the ball game with eight to go, 18 to nine. On the uh, Park Region scoreboard left in the first half. Gold on the wing. Brumfield over to Zwier, down to Foss. Foss on the wing, high post area to Quam, batted right back in his face. Foss able to catch it on the quick reaction. Now feeds the wing to Gold. Gold, couple dribbles back to the top of the key to Brumfield. Now in the corner, Foss attacking baseline, kicks it top of the key. Quam, nice extra pass to Gold. That's a good closeout by Drake and Lebo. And Gold's gonna reset the offense inside to Zwier. Zwier's able to get past Cameron and he'll score off the glass for two. And Thomas Swears has three points. And Van Ert quickly ahead, and they're going to have a turnover on Battle Lake as Van Ert got it to Riley Lebo, but he had a foot on that uh, deep baseline as he was working in the near side corner. As Battle Lake is going to turn it over, and the comments bring it the other way. Left side of the floor, Gold on the wing. This is Brumfield. Brumfield top of the key to Swears over to Foss. Foss. Puts it on the deck one time, kicks to Brumfield. Three-pointer is good for Sam Brumfield. And he's got five points in this one. And an 18 to 14 score on the Park Region scoreboard. And there's seven to play, and now we're gonna have an offensive foul. Let's see who they got here. It's gonna be against number 12, Kane Cameron. And that's going to be uh, two on Cameron, so Amundsen is going to replace him. The fifth team foul on Battle Lake. They're going to pick up a little three-quarter court pressure on the Comets. Gold gets the basketball, working against Van Erp. Now to the wing to Foss. Foss looked inside, back to the perimeter to Zwiers. Now over to Quan, feeds the corner to Gold. Gold three-pointer short, and that's going to be rebounded by Lebo. Lebo tries to get it ahead, but a great play by Foss to deflect it out of the air and he'll be fouled by Connor Drake and just the sixth team on Battle Lake so no free throws quite yet and Foss is going to have a uh, clear path to that free throw line but they'll get the ball here at the half court line. Quam over to his weirs now top of the key off feeds it to Foss. Foss and go off a uh, staggered double screen out of Brumfield. Brumfield kicks to Quam. Quam three pointer from the wing is off the rim and boarded by Van Erp. Battle Lake looking to get out in transition with Brady Van Erp. Van Erp on the handle. Feeds it to Himmelspot. 
And working inside. Puts it on the deck now. Picks up his dribble, working against goals. Amundsen on the attack, gets past Swears, and he'll score on that baseline. Nifty move, nifty footwork. And just a simple uh, rip through by Brennan Amundsen, and he's got eight points. Extends this lead to six. As Foss on the other end, working from the wing. Takes the Zwerer screen, trying to get past Amundsen. Now back to Brumfield. Brumfield gets a foot in the paint, kicks back to Quam. Now to Gold. Gold penetrates into the paint, and he'll hit the tough runner inside. And Ed Gold's got four points in the ball game. Back to a four, four point lead for Battle 8. And the basketball. Banner up on the handle. Hamill you know, spots with it. Now to Amundsen. Amundsen will feed Lebo in the post. Lebo, a nice move to get around Brumfield, and he'll score. And he'll be fouled. And Riley Lebo is going to head to the free throw line. Trying to convert a three-point play. It would be their uh, second time tonight as Amundsen had one earlier. And now we're going to have uh, some players checking in for both teams. Number 12, Yu Chin Ha checking in. Number 15, we got James Cho. And also number 33, Joel Seymour for the Comets. In Battle Lake, it looked like uh, number 13, Owen Bueller checked into the ball game, as well as number 10. That free throw good by Lebo. And number 10, James McKelson checking in. Ev Gold, quick attack, and he'll score on the left side of the hole, not wasting any time. All the way to get all the way to the basket into the paint, scores with the left hand. He's got six points. James McHaleson attacking baseline. Now he'll send it to the corner. That's Bueller. Three pointer is short. Scramble for the rebound, and that's going to be controlled by the Comets as Ha saves it right to Seymour. Now with Gold. Gold, 15 footer from the elbow is short. Ends up back in his hands. Kicks to Seymour. Three pointer on the way. In and out for Joel Seymour. And Battle Lake bringing it the other way. As Hillcrest had a couple attempts on that possession. Came up empty on both of them. Amundsen, high post area, just loses the handle and Cho picks it up. Cho with gold with him. Nice bounce pass into Ev. Ev all the way to the hole and he'll score the transition bucket. And Evan Gold's got eight points and we got a three point ball game. 23 to 20 with four minutes left in the first half. Deep corner, this is Bueller with it now. He's working against Cho and that's going to be knocked out of bounds. Last touch by senior James Cho. Battle Lake three-point lead. And the basketball is Van Erp and Cameron checking back in. Drake and Bueller will sit down. Erke is going to check into the ball game here for the Comets. As number three, Ed Gold going to get a breather. Inbound is going to come from Lebo. Lebo feeds the corner. Nice uh, move by Van Erp. Kind of a little throw cut to get three. Pit code that baseline will score for two. Van Erp has seven points in the ball game. Back to a five point lead. Foss, packing baseline, able to get around about three defenders, but misses the shot. And that's gonna go out of bounds. I have no idea who it went off of. And the uh, ref is gonna point to Erky. Says it went off of his foot. So we're going the other way. Number one, Brecker Blado checking in for Battle Lake. First time tonight. Nice Brecker freshman. One of those players that's uh, seen some extended playing time here as they're without two of their uh, usual starters, Andrew Johnson and Dylan Christensen. Van Ert catches it up top to uh, reverse the pass to Amundsen, who attacks from the wing, and he's blocked by the Comets, and Seymour bringing it out of there. Ha, uh, on top of the key, over to Erke, Erke. Little jab step to get free. Back to Ha on the perimeter. Crossover dribble, and uh, we're going to have a three second call on James Cho. And Battle Lake's going to get the basketball back with 3.10 left in the first. 25 to 20 is your Park Region score. Banner going to uh, trot the basketball across the half court line, met by Erke. On the wing to Lebo. Lebo working against Foss. Far side wing. Looks at a cutter. That's Van Erp inside. Back to the perimeter to Cameron. Now to Lebo to Amundsen. Feeds the post once again. Now back to Amundsen. Amundsen tried to find Lebo who's cutting back door, but that's taken away by the Comets. Huh? On the wing. And they leave him alone, so he's just going to pull up, take the three. Left that one long and boarded by Amundsen. Amundsen 
Over to Van Erp. Van Erp to Lebo. Back to Van Erp. Between the legs, behind the back dribble, leaves it for Lebo. Three-pointer from the wing, overshot the basket, and boarded on the weak side by Ha. Ha gives way to Foss. Foss is going to be trapped, but able to get it up to Erke, and Erke will turn it over. Great defense by Blado. It's a freshman out there, but a uh, nice rotation. He's got the basketball now. Now Cameron, Cameron, working against Cho, over to Amundsen. Amundsen, back to Blado. He gets it back now. Brennan with the basketball on the perimeter to Cameron, he'll feed Lebo in the post. Tried to find Amundsen, who was leaking out in the corner, but that's just taken away by Huh as he gets his hands in the passing lane. Gives way to Foss. Foss on the attack all the way to the hole, and he'll be called for the offensive foul. It's great job by Kane Cameron. As he was in that lane and uh, was just waiting for him the whole time, that's his second uh, charge that he's taken. So kudos to uh, Kane Cameron sacrificing his body and uh, able to draw a couple charges already in the first half. About one and a half to go. Battle Lake basketball inside to Amundsen. Amundsen with a nice shuffle pass into Van Earp. He misses the shot but boarded by Blado and he's going to be fouled on the ground and that's going to be the 10th I believe. The 10th personal. These are the ninth or the 10th, so we're going to have a, either a one and one opportunity. Oh, it's going to be a double bonus. That is going to go against Foss, so he picks up two quick ones, one on the offensive end, one on the defensive end. And Blado is going to miss the first, and he'll have another one coming as they're in the double bonus. Emil Spots checking back into the ball game. He replaces Cameron. And Blado's free throw is no good. Oh, two on the trip. And Hillcrest coming out of there with a the defensive rebound. Up ahead to Gold. Gold with the power triple gets free and he shoots that runner. He likes to do that. Off balance, but he's able to knock it down and he's got 10 points. Back to a three point lead for Battle Lake. 25 22. Blado working against Gold. One dribble. Now he picks it up over to Van Ert. Van Ert gets past Ricky. Back to Amundsen, but that's knocked away. Brennan able to get it back though. Kicks to Lebo. Lebo attacking baseline. Power dribble. Shot is up. No good. And here come the Comets. Gold looping past everybody. Uh, behind the back, yet he misses the shot. And we're going the other way. Nifty move to get free from the defender. Had a good shot at the basket. Just unable to convert. Now he commits that uh, foul. And not the one that you want to do with 50 seconds left here in the first half because that's going to send Brady Banner up to the free throw line. Is Brady a very good free throw shooter? Trying to extend this lead for the Battlers and make these free throws count here as we're nearing the end of the first half. Van Erp's free throw is no good off the uh, right side of the rim. So he'll try to split a pair as Connor Drake checks back in to the ball game for Battle 8. And Fisher checked in here for the Comets. Second one on the trip is nothing but net for Brady. He's got eight points in this one. Good first half for him. And a four-point lead for Battle Lake with Erkey on the handle for the Comets. He'll be defended by Lebo. Lebo. Now gives way to Foss. Foss. Gibbles to the wing. Back to Fisher. Fisher gives it right back to Foss. Foss back to Fisher. Fisher on the handle. We got uh, 25 seconds left as Zwiers attacks from the wing and he's going to be fouled. And it's going to be on the floor, but we're going to have a one-on-one -one opportunity coming for senior Thomas Zwiers. He's got three points in this one. Been battling the flu bug here lately. As uh, Joel Seymour going to check back in for the Comets. He's going to replace Foss. And Jack McHaleson checking in. He's going to replace Drake for Battle Lake. So front of one and one for the senior. And Zwiers' his free throws in the air and no good. Boarded by Lebo. And Battle Lake's going to have 20 seconds to work here. Try to extend the four-point lead. Lebo picks up his dribble onto the wing. McHaleson catches it against Seymour. Puts it on the deck. Top of the key to Van Erp. Van Erp is going to uh, throw it and try to get it to Amundsen, but knocked away by Zwiers. 
goes out of bounds on that far side sideline and Battle Lake is going to inbound right at the half court line on the opposite end of the floor. Eight and a half left to go in the first half. And off to Van Ert. Van Ert, 15 footer, foul line jumper is no good, boarded by the Comets and they're going to have to hurry as they're going to have a half court heave from Erkey that goes off the backboard and nearly in. But uh, it does not. So the uh, final buzzer sounds here in first half action and your uh, Park Region Beyond the Connection score is going to be Battle Lake 26, Hillcrest 22. Again, uh, the Battlers with the uh, four point lead at the break on the road against the Comets. That score 26 to 22. You're listening to Little Eight Conference Basketball here on KJ Country. Stick around here and we will be back with the Minnesota Motor Company Halftime Report in two minutes. At Minnesota
Come to Gold. As again, the comics, the first possession of the second half. Gold out of the wing to Foss. Foss to Zwiers. Now to Brumfield. Working against a, uh, looks like to be a zone of Battle Lake. Gold, Gold looking inside. Feeds it to Zwiers. Zwiers working again on, against Amundsen. And he'll miss the shot inside, out of bounds. Last touched by Battle Lake. Had a pretty decent look in it as help came over. As Zwiers is going to inbound it. Foss pops. Three-pointer is long and boarded by Zwiers. Zwiers keeping it alive. Back to goal down the perimeter. Little pass fake. Now to Brumfield. To Foss. Quick pass. Back to Sam. Now to Zwiers. Zwiers feeds that gold. Over to Foss. Foss dumps it down inside. Now to Zwiers, who's triple teamed. And he's tripped by Van Erp. Great defense by Brady Van Erp. And he's bringing it the other side. Now to Cameron, feeds Lebo, wide open three from the wing, is off the rim, no good, and boarded by Brumfield. So a minute into this one, took us about four minutes in the first half to get anybody to score. And we're a minute into this one as Brumfield catches it from the wing, puts it on the deck, now to Foss. Foss attacks, kick back to the perimeter, and we got an offensive foul as Lebo was out of the circle. Waiting for uh, Micah Foss as he was driving inside, and that's gonna be three personals on Micah Foss. Micah, a junior guard for Hillcrest, but a lot of varsity minutes. And having a good junior season. Just getting himself into a uh, foul trouble down the stretch a little too much. He's got three with uh, 16 and a half still to go. Amundsen with the catch. And Kelson. Kelson just the eighth grader down there, and he's going to be stripped by gold. They're just tipped off the back of him out of bounds. Off of goal. Inbound's going to come to Van Ert. Feeds it to Lebo. Lebo working in the post. Now back to Amundsen. Feeds it right back to Lebo. He zips it inside. Good catch by Cameron, but unable to score. And he rips it right back from Foss. And now he'll score inside. So good move. You know, just a great effort by Kane Cameron. Just not giving up on the play. And he's got five points in this one as Foss is going to attack from the baseline. Into the paint, kick back to the perimeter to Quant. Down to goal. Gold feeds it to Zwiers and goes right through his fingertips. And picked up by Battle Lake. Up ahead to Lebo. Lebo to Van Ert. Over to Amundsen. What a jab step. Inside the cannon. He got that position. Missed the shot. He still shot the basket. And boarded by Brumfield. Sam bringing it the other way. Working against some pressure. Crossing the timeline. Over to Foss. Now back to Zwiers, about 40 feet from the basket. Feeds the gold on the wing. Now he'll dribble one step up into Zwiers. Zwiers going to try to score over the triple team, and he's going to be fouled. And we're going to have two shots coming. And that's going to be on number 12, Kane Cameron of Battle Lake. Thomas Zwiers is, uh, I got him down for one of three from the free throw line. He's got three points. Trying to make it two of four, 50% from the evening, and he does. We got four new battlers checking in the ball game. Number 15, Thomas Hinnelstock checking in the ball game. Number 22, Connor Drake. And number 13, Owen Buehler. And also number one, Brecker Blado. 15-42 left in the ball game, and Zwiers goes two of two from the charity strike. And Battle Lake has the five point, the four point lead. And the basketball, 28-24. There's Hino Spock on the perimeter. Gives to Bledo, top of the key. Now we're going to Bueller. Bueller, over to Drake. I'm Van Ert. Van Ert, trying to get inside. Nifty move to get into the paint, but that's knocked away by Gold. And Gold is going to take it away for the Connors. 
Quam up ahead to Foss. Foss into the front court. Get a foot in the paint. Out back to the perimeter. This is Gold with it. Top of the key. Work against Van Erp. Over to Foss. Foss thought about shooting it. Now back to Quam. Feeds Foss right back. Into the post to Zwier. Zwier's with a power dribble and a score over the help defender. Zwier. And Tom Zwier is with two quick free throws and another quick bucket. Given four points already in the second half. Seven in the ball game. And a two point lead for Battle 8. And we start. And we got a three second violation on Battle 8. Zondinson is going to replace Bueller. And the inbound is going to come to Gold, and he's picked up right away by Van Erp. Token pressure gives way to Foss. Foss on the wing, far side. This is now Brumfield. Brumfield back to Foss. Foss, quick shot, and he knocks the three pointer down, and Michael Foss has five and all games. The Comets have uh, retaken the lead. And they did lead one time early, early in this basketball game. They got the one point lead here at 29 to 28. 14 to play. Amundsen working in through. Sweeps through. All the way to the hole. Scores over the help defender. A big bucket for Brennan Amundsen gives the lead right back to Battle Lake. 30 to 29. We get a timeout on the floor. Take one as well. Be back in 30 seconds. Ball, and they'll turn it over. Van Erp with a great defensive play. Over to Blado, who misses the shot, but Amundsen cleans it up. And he scores for two. And Battle Lake, just like that, back on top by three. 32-29. New score on the Park Region scoreboard. As Seymour, back to the top of the key to Ha. Ha over to Fisher, now deep in the corner to Erke. Back to Fisher on the wing, working near side. Now he'll dribble up to the top. The far side, rather. No over to Ha. Ha. Back to the top of the key to Fisher. Now it's near side with Seymour. He feeds James Cho, who checks in the ball game. Kicks back to Ha. Ha puts it on the deck, slicing and dicing through the paint. Back to the perimeter. This is Seymour. A couple of little pull ups from the wing is no good and out of bounds. And no one touched it. The last uh, off of Seymour, off the missed shot. And Battle Lake is going to inbound. Comics took the lead. On that three-pointer from Foss, but uh, Battle Lake able to take it right back and leading by three, 32 to 29. Uh, 13 10 left to go. And the uh, Battle Lake get it up quickly up the floor, but a missed reverse layup by Van Erp, and now we're going to have a foul on the floor on the ground, and that's going to go against number 13, Zeke Kirkley, his second of the ball game, his second team foul here on the Comets of the uh, second half. Inbound from Van Erp. Van Erp feeds Lebo. Quick three-pointer and he knocks it down. Nothing but net for the senior Riley Lebo. He's got nine points in the ball game. And he got a six-point lead for Battle Lake. And the Comets are having all sorts of trouble getting that basketball into the front court. But now they do. Fortunate for that is now Erky has it. And they're going to try to settle it down, slow it down, and get in their half-court set. Seymour. Over to Ha, out of Fisher. Fisher feeds the corner to Erke. Three-pointer on the way is good, and a big shot for Junior Zeke Erke. And he gets the lead back to three once again. And Ha takes it away from Lebo. Ha into the paint, shot is up, no good, and Van Erp able to get it back here for Battle 8. Van Erp quickly crossing the timeline, brings it to the left side of the floor. Plato with the basketball, onto the wing to Amundsen. Amundsen feeds Van Erp into the post. Good pass to Lebo. Three-pointer from the wing. In and out, boarded by Blado, though, underneath. That's how he's unable to get a clear cool shot. And now we're going to have two different 
Keller is on the floor, and that's going to be a foul, I believe. That's going to be on number one, Blado. As he was uh, trying to keep that basketball alive. I call the foul on the uh, loose ball. And Hillcrest is going to get it back here. Seymour and is going to be trapped. And Battle Lake does a great job of uh, throwing some uh, crazy deals at there that uh, keep the flow and the pace and the tempo on their side. And that's what they're doing in the comments right now. They got a defender that picks up the ball right away, and they got a guy that's playing in the middle that just comes and adds pressure no matter where you are. They're in the corner or the front. Now they bring them both here now, but the comments doing a great job getting across the timeline. See more. Now to Erky, Erky with a nice pass inside to Cho, and Cho will score from the left block. And that's Cho's first bucket, and a one-point lead is uh, it's going to be out of bounds out uh, the Hillcrest. And Battle Lake's going to inbound. So they were just about a uh, couple feet past half court. And Erp inbounds the lead ball. Hand off back to Brady. Brady on the attack, kicks the blade off. He gets it right back, and then reset. 2 3 zone here for Hillcrest. 11 and a half to play for the Arsenal Express post game show. Drake gets it. Now the lead ball. Van Erp now into the uh, short corner area. Near side is on this and Rip through move. Misses the shot, but Blado keeps it alive. Van Erp kicks to Drake. Back to Amundsen. Three pointer for Brennan is good. And a huge shot for Brennan Amundsen. And a quick tally, I think he's got 13 points in this one. As Erke wants the three, that is no good. Fisher with the rebound, puts it up, put back, also no good, and it's going to stay. And this end of the floor with the Comets is a uh, line change coming for them as they're going to bring their uh, original starting five into the ball game. As uh, Battle Lake's going to bring one up. Jack McHaleson checking in the ball game. Jason Blado. And Brumfield going to inbound for the Comets. Brumfield in the Foss. Foss deep in the corner. Over to Gold now. Gold. Back to Foss. Foss attacking baseline. He's double teamed. Back to Brumfield now. On the wing. Over to Foss. Foss right back to the same side. Attacking baseline. Now to Zwears. Over to Gold. Gold trying to get free for the pull up jumper. Now a kick to Quam. Quam three pointer is short. No good. And boarded by Amundsen. 10 40 left in the ball game and counting. 38 34. Battle Lake with a four point lead. And the basketball. Now he's up on the handle. Gives way to Drake. Drake working from the ring. Top of the key to Lebo. Sends it to McHaleson. And back to the top of the key to Van Hurt. Looks down to Lebo. He wanted it in the post, but it stays with Van Hurt. On to Drake. Drake feeds the high post there to Amundsen. Amundsen. Working in series. Back to the perimeter to Van Hurt. He kicks to Lebo. Lebo wants a three. And it's good off the catch and shoot. And he's got 12 points. His third triple of this one. And a seven-point lead for the Battler. Quan catches it in the post, back to Gold. Deep three-point range. Now to Foss, Foss on the wing near side. Now back to the top of the key to Brumfield. Brumfield leads it to Quan. Quan over to Gold, Gold with the pass to Foss. Foss tries to zip it to Zwears. Zwears with a great catch inside. This is the shot, and now he's gonna commit the foul about 90 feet from the basket. And that's going to be his first and the uh, third team here on the Comets. Kielsen going to inbound. It comes to Lebo. Lebo is just going to have everybody get out of there, and he's going to go one on one here against Brumfield. On the uh, right handed dribble. Now behind the back to the left. Working far side wing. Top of the key to Van Ert. Van Ert working against Boss. On the handle, top of the key, setting up the offense. Between the legs, dribble, right to left. He gets free, and he scores over the help the center of Zwerz. Takes the contact. And Brady Van Hurt is going to head to the free throw line. Big bucket for him. And he jumps it to a nine-point lead. This Cameron and him on spots are checking in here for the battle eight. And he's going to try to uh, make this a double-digit lead for Battle Lake, which would be the largest of the night. The free throw is in the air, and good. So he's in the double digits. With 
11 points. We got a full timeout. We'll take one as well. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Tobacco Industries Businessman. from the wing, in and out, but boarded inside by Quam. And the pickoff is blocked by Lebo. What a defensive stand, and here comes Lebo. Lebo quickly ahead. Steve Robinson, three-pointer, big shot for Battle Lake, running with an it down, and boarded by Quam. Quam gives way to Gold. Gold attacks inside, and you got a jump ball, and that possession ball is going to turn it over to the Battle Lake. 46 left before the Olson Oil Express postgame show. Inbound. Comes to Himmel Spots. And he's still on the handle. Over to uh, Cameron, but they're able to get it across with Lebo. Back to Cameron. Cameron on the handle. Dribbles to the far side wing. Robinson and Will Block on that side. Now gives way to the top of the key to Lebo. Lebo working against Brumfield. Thomas and a man-to-man -man defense here with uh, all five starters on the floor, and we're going to have a timeout by uh, Coach C.J. Peters. A full timeout. We'll take one as well. Be back with more second-half action in one minute. off his ears. It looked like he maybe jammed two of his fingers. Dennis on the face of uh, Thomas Weirs and Battle Lake's just going to inbound, reset. Banner coming back into the ball game. And Cameron inbounding and the Lebo. Lebo over to Amundsen. Amundsen finds Cameron and cut in the lane and that's knocked away by the Comets. Weirs up ahead of Brumfield. Brumfield on the wing, near side. Working against a couple defenders. Now over to Fox. Fox. We'll zip it down in his rear. Rears will uh, attack the basket and will score for two over Cameron. He just turned and faced. That's a little power move. Able to get past Cameron. Senior post player able to score and uh, back down to a single digit lead of eight. Lebo catches it up top, top of the key. Savannah inside to Amundsen. Amundsen working against 
his rear is back to Van Hurt. Van Hurt dumps it down to Amundsen, and he's going to be fouled. And that's going to go against uh, number five, Thomas Weirs, I believe. Nope, number three, Ev Gold on the hand. And Gold got him on the hand. That's going to be Ev's third of the ball game, fifth on the Comet. And we're going to have an illegal screen on number 12, Kane Cameron, as he wasn't set, trying to get Amundsen free. And that's going to be four on Cameron. So he'll check out on the ball game. He's going to be replaced by senior number 22, Connor Drake. We got 7.37 left, and this ball is going to be inbounded to Foss. 44-36. Battlers with the lead. Won the first downing, trying to complete the uh, season sweep. Hillcrest trying to uh, split the uh, games of the season. And Foss in and out on the three from the deep corner, and that is going to be last touched by Amundsen of Battle Lake. And so Hillcrest is going to keep it on this side of the floor. Zwier is going to inbound. As Foss able to catch it out up top. Top of the key. Gives way to Brumfield. Brumfield, one-handed pass to Gold. Gold, top of the key. Over to Ha. Ha feeds the wing to Brumfield. And now we're going to have a foul. Well, let's see here. Our number 22, Connor Drake, is, uh, he got tied up with Thomas Rears. That's going to be the third on Connor Drake. And the fourth team foul here on the bat. 7-10 to play. Rumfield going to inbound. Rumfield gets it to Ha. Ha on the wing. Over to Gold. Gold will let it fly. Three-pointer is good. Nothing but net. And he's shot for Evan Gold. And he's got 13 points. He's our first three points of the second half. And back and forth we go. Five-point lead for Battle Lakes. Brady Van Ert working against Fox. Able to get past him, and he's going to be fouled, and that's going to be number four on Micah Foss with 6.49. Still left to play in the ballgame. Nope, no, they're going to call it on Evan Gold. But that's going to be his fourth anyway. So not on Foss. It's going to go against number three, Evan Gold. On the reach in. And he'll head to the bench as Erke checks in for him. And Lebo with a nice cut inside, in and out on the shot. Not sure how that uh, shot in the lane did not go down for Riley. Um, but it did not. And the Comets are bringing it the other way. And now we're going to have a foul on Lebo as he was applying the pressure to Foss. That's going to be two on Riley. And now going to come from Foss out to Brumfield. Brumfield's going to have... Uh, Blado come out and get him. Over to Ha on the wing. Far side, top of the key. This is Foss now. Foss sends it to Erke. Now to the near side wing. This is Brumfield. Couple of dribbles up the uh, perimeter. Now to Ha. Ha over to Foss. Back to Erke. Top of the key. Gives it back to Foss. And that's knocked away. Great defense by Brady Van Erp. And he gives way to Blado. Up ahead to Drake. Now to Lebo. Lebo attacking baseline. Puts up the tough shot. Didn't have a great angle at it. Missed it off the uh, backboard of the rim, the rim, one of the two. And the Comets will bring it the other way. Brumfield working against Blado. Brumfield kicks to Foss. Three-pointer is good for Michael Foss. And he's got eight points. And we got a two-point ball game, 44-42. With five minutes and 45 seconds left in the ball game. Amundsen catching it the high post area. Gets down deep into that post on the left block and he'll score for two. And Brennan Amundsen has 17 points in this one. Never seen Brennan play in person. He's uh, very smooth. He uh, is never in a hurry. He does great work from that high post area and short corner area. He's able to make a nice move. Scores against Zwiers, 46-42. Comets with the basketball down by four as Ha takes the uh, three-pointer from the top of the key area. No good, left that one short and boarded by about a late. Five minutes to go. Four point ball game, same deficit we had at the half. 46-42. Van Erp on the handle. Working against Fox. Under five to play. We bring in the Olsen on Express post game show. And the quality player of the game coming up immediately after the game as Van Erp gets a foot in the lane, kicks it to Lebo. Shot is up, no good, but boarded by Drake. Drake gives it to Amundsen and he'll send it inside to a wide open Lebo who cut down the block and he's got 14 in the ball game. And we got a timeout by Coach Garvin. 
will take one as well as we'll be back with more second half action in one minute. Bucket by Levo gives him 14 points in the ball game, and uh, we had a great finish with our Otters basketball as the boys went on a buzzer beater. Maybe St. Cloud Tech on the road, 52 to 50. An exciting one coming down the stretch here with four and a half to play. Comets with the basketball again, 48-42 as Brumfield sends it to Foss. Now to Erke. Erke working against Van Erk. His rears, rears. In the uh, middle, top of the key area, back to Foss. Foss, we get back to Seymour, and Seymour's on the court. Back to Foss, Foss gonna attack baseline. Let me trap over to Seymour. Seymour into the paint, no good on the finger roll, and boarded by Amundsen. And Coach Peterson with, uh, Peters, excuse me. Coach C.J. Peters with two hands up. This tells his team to slow it down a little bit. And there's four to play. And Van Herp can go on the attack. Misses the shot, but the putback is no good by Drake. And just a little short by Connor Drake and boarded by the Comets. That would have been a huge bucket for Battle Lake. And uh, Hillcrest very fortunate. But now they're going to turn it over. As Foss tried to get it over to Erke. And the turnover. And it's at 3.42 left in the ball game, the inbound gonna come from Van Ert. Metal Lake with the basketball, six point lead. Comes to Amundsen, Amundsen, and he maybe uh, is a little bit too unselfish there as he probably had a decent shot himself, but a turnover up ahead to Brownfield. Brownfield, over to Foss. Foss, back to Erke. Erke trying to get free for the three, you know, makes its way to Foss. Foss on the deep wing, over to Brumfield. Sam's got a shot, top of the key, and he rattles it home for Sam Brumfield. And a big, big shot for the sophomore. Cuts that lead in half, 48-45. Three-point ball game and three minutes to go. Amundsen, catch net, just a foot of top of that high post area. Back to Van Earp, and they're gonna have a touch by Foss. So Van Erp is going to track it down into the backcourt, now to the front court. Brady Van Erp, crossover dribble, back to Lebo. Lebo, real center of the basketball, dribbles to the top of the key, down to Blado. Blado, goes to Van Serpy, picks up his dribble, about 35, 40 feet from the basket as Amundsen's got to pop out to catch it. Now to Van Erp. Van Erp does a good job handling that basketball. And he's able to get free. Now he kicks to the corner to Lebo. Lebo three-pointer and a huge shot as he knocks it down. And the senior, Riley Lebo, has 17 points. Great feed from Van Earth. And now he'll kick it out of bounds to Will Lebo right in front of that Comet bench. The Comets are going to keep it on this end of the floor. There's McHaleson checking back in the ball game. Cameron as well. Looks like original starting five back for Battle Lake. And gold back into the ball game as well for the Comets. Foss on the wing. Six point lead for Battle Lake. Gold catches in a corner. Still dribble baseline. Kicks back to Brumfield. Brumfield able to uh, get into the paint. Back to Foss. Foss on the wing. He knocks down the three. And he's got 11 as he's in the double digits. Back and forth, big time shots being made by uh, many players here this evening. Under two to play, 140 
Bayern and counting here in a three point ball game, 51 to 48. The first matchup went into overtime. And now we'll see, possibly could be heading to extra basketball here on this Tuesday evening. As we got 90 seconds to go, Van Earp up top. That always got the three point lead, working against Foss. And now he'll send it wide open inside to Riley Rebo. And Thomas just lost him. Easy bucket for him. Thomas down by five. Foss to Brumfield. Over to Gold. About 70 seconds left in this one. Down the wing to Foss. Foss will feed Zwiers, and he's going to be fouled by Amundsen, and that's going to be the sixth team foul. It's going to be two on Brandon Amundsen. And we got a quick timeout, 30-second one by Coach Garvin. We'll take one as well. Be back with the finish of the game in 30 seconds. left in the ball game. Comets down by five. They have the basketball. Zwiers is going to inbound. Zwiers inbound to Seymour. Seymour, low block area, and he'll score for two. Good move to get free. Joel Seymour has got his first bucket of the ball game, and it comes a very timely big moment for him. Three-point lead for Battle Lake in the basketball. 53 to 50. 50 seconds. 49 seconds. As Van Earth. All right, dribble this clock up. Now he's going to attack the basket. Now back to the perimeter, and that's going to be fouled by, oh, over in that pass. Big play, big call there as it's going to cross the timeline. Over and back call on Battle Lake. As Seymour and Foss were applying the pressure right by the scores table. So the Comets have the basketball. Under 40 seconds to go, down by three. Gold crossing the timeline, over to Foss. Hard fought battle here in the Little Lake Conference as both teams want to uh, squeeze out this victory. Seymour attacking the paint, back to Zwiers, now to Quam, over to Gold. Gold feeds Foss, trying to get free in the corner. Maybe would have had a shot if the pass would have got to him clean, and it didn't. We're down to 15 seconds left. Comets down by three, and they need a shot, and uh, Coach Garvin calls a timeout, and we're going to keep it here. As we got a full timeout, don't want to miss any of the action with 13.2 seconds left in this one. 53 to 50. We'll see what Coach Garvin draws out of the uh, timeout. As uh, Hillcrest does have some great three-point shooters. You got Mike Foss, Sam Brumfield, shooting it uh, very well outside, and uh, Ellen Gold and Joe Kwan, two uh, good shooters from the perimeter as well. And Thomas Weirs too has been known to knock down a three or two um, in the past. So we'll see what he draws up. You gotta think he's probably gonna go to junior Micah Foss or at least try to uh, use him as a decoy. But uh, we'll see what first year coach Ryan Garvin draws up out of the timeout. Don't need a three necessarily, but uh, when you think about it, we don't have the advancement of the basketball. And you probably want to be thinking about that with about 13.2 seconds left. And but we'll see what they elect to do. Down by three, 53 to 50. As Gold looks like he's going to inbound. Nope, Foss is going to inbound. Micah Foss will inbound. It's him on the floor. Gold, Brumfield, Quam, and Seymour. All three-point shooters, you all Seymour. And shoot it from the outside as well. 13.2 on the clock. And on comes the goal. Here we go. 10 seconds. Now 9 seconds. Gold on the handle. Feeding Foss. Foss. Comet's got to go. 6 seconds. 5 seconds. Over to Quam. Quam contested. 3 is long and boarded by Battle Lake. And that will do it. And the Battlers are going to hang on to a victory. And to keep the comments by three on the Park Region beyond the Connection scoreboard, Battle Lake victorious here on KJ Country, 53 to 50 over the Hillcrest Comets on the Comets' home floor.
as uh, Joel Quam had a uh, heavily contested three on the opposite wing and uh, shot it long. Great contest without falling by Brennan Amundsen. And uh, that will end the basketball game again. Your final score in the Park Region scoreboard. Battlers victorious over the Comets, 53 to 50.